Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my YouTube NASDAQ channel. This is Johnny. Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade iJack. I'm having a CyberArk appliance running on IP 172.23.133. And also, it is actually it's a Dell server. And uh, right now, I'm iJack is in old versions. Three, so we're gonna upgrade to version four. Let's start it. Uh, log in with your iJack interface. You can see system health status and also you can see iJack settings. You're gonna see iJack version right now 3.21.21.21. You may need to search your iJack latest version and see which version you're gonna need it. And I already did that part. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upgrade to 4.20.20.20. So you need to go to the maintenance. System update. So you can search the downloading package from their website. You can directly download it. There's some um, 147 megabytes hijacked underscore for the 20 to 20 to 20 underscore a 0 exe that's exe that's exactly why you need it so it's not like a bin type uh, image file it's just a exe file which you need it um the latest version is 4.22.22 4.22 um but uh, based on a release note if my version it's 3.21, so I have to go to this version first, then I can go to the latest version 4.22. So keep in mind, check the release node, upgrading path, and uh, download the right version. Don't assume the, right the latest version can be installed directly. So you may need another middle version to upgrade to, just like I did. So um, right now it's in the system update page and choose a downloaded file. I already downloaded yesterday, right here. So we're gonna upload to it. It's gonna take a while. Um, I'm gonna pause the video for a couple minutes. Once it's uploaded, then I show you the next step. Okay, the iTrack has been uploaded. You can choose the iTrack file. Um, for some reason, it's unable to verify up Date package signature. That means uh, we can install it with this version. Back, you can see this is application iJack. It doesn't give us too much information about this uh, exe file. But if you go down, then you will find out the right one iJack with lifecycle controller firmware. That's the right one we needed. So we're going to download this one here. It will take a minute or so to finish it. Okay, we downloaded the right file this time. Let's upload, choose file. You need to choose file first. Um, then, then choose the right file, upload to it. So this version is 4.20. And the latest version is 4.22. Uh, we're gonna upgrade 420 first, 420 first, and then we do another upgrade to 422. The whole upgrade process is completely independent with the system OS you are running on it. I have Windows 2009 S16 running on it. There's a business application. Um, if you just do the upgrade in uh, iJack, business will not be interrupted.
just keep that in mind so you can do it during the business hours now we can tell the right version has been verified the status is packaged successfully downloaded and the criticality is critical prerequisite is not there's a plus sign here this is a component calendar version available version what we can do is check this box and do install so this information there's a click job queue button to view the status of the update jobs let's check this it shows download in ijack with lifecycle controller firmware 369m3 win64 underscore 4.20.20.20 underscore add underscore 01.exe update package so the ijack will restart when the ijack firmware update is complete all calendar user session will be closed reconnect ijack communication session after ijack is restarted the ijack will be ready for login once restart is complete so keep that in mind it's only ijack component not host server the host server will not be affected i got the bad news um it shows on label to extract payload from update package it failed let's go back to system update check it um, one thing you need to keep in mind you upload those files once you browser away from a, the uploading pa page or package you upload it will go away you are gone there's no way you can keep it yeah maybe there's a way but uh, this i don't know here so the query message we cannot extract the payload from update package um one thing i can do here um, is um i can manually extract it this is the exe file i will gonna do using my sound tip extract to hijack folder and see if i can get that d9 file the payload exactly this is our d9 file let's give it a try with this d9 right something happening um, while extracting that d9 file from exe and um, what we can do is we can manually upload this d9 file This is a D9 file. Let's upload that. Hopefully, this time upgrade can be successful. Okay, similar thing. We got a component, and we can do install, and we can check job queue again. Hopefully this time can give us successful installation message. Well, it's completed. Ah, that's nice. So let's refresh again. No job queue. Um, I guess it's a rebooting since uh, uploading has been completed. Upgrading is completed, and um, system gonna be rebooted. Hijack. We just need to wait. Um, so here is lesson learned: when you do Hijack upgrade, don't use exe file extract it using your 7-zip or other on zip application get a d9 file upload it not using exe you may face the same issue as i faced wasting your time get a d9 file much easier faster and get your job done 
So right now we are waiting the website hijack to be rebooted and come back. Let's look if the system comes back online or not. Okay, system come back right now. Just waiting the uh, login page to show up. Great. Load. Locked in. First thing, we're going to check the version. It's loading the web page for us. So you can tell the version or actually already upgrade 4.20.20.20. Even it still shows loading, but that we can see from the background system information section 4.20.20.20. Perfect. Let's process how do you upgrade iJack version and how did I troubleshooting and fix that iJack upgrading issue. Thank you for watching.